Hi, my name is Joseph. This is my second video. And in my previous video, I showed you how to draw a grid on HTML canvas using JavaScript. Simple JavaScript, don't uh, without using any JavaScript library. And um, we were able to come up with a grid that is similar to the one that I have here, whereby it has 100 divisions, small squares, and then it has big squares. And each big, big square or major unit has five small divisions. So that is what we were able to do in my previous video. So just in case you missed that video, you can visit, visit my channel. You'll be able to watch that video. So today I want us to come up with a um, much more complete grid that, are, that is having an x-axis, y-axis with tick marks and completely robot like I have in this picture that is being shown here. So I'm going to show you how we are going to proceed from the grid that we had up to coming up with a grid that is having the x-axis, y-axis robot like I have here. So simple tools that you need. First of all, you need to know how to make a web page using HTML, how to use JavaScript to draw 2D graphics on Canvas. And then you need to have a notepad where you're going to write your scripts in the browser, Firefox, for example, common one. So you do not require some complicated um, applications for you to be able to do this. So this is what we had previously. These are the scripts that we came up with. I have my canvas, the script for the canvas. You can be able to see this from my previous video. And then this is where we came up with a script for the smaller units for my grid the major units down here and that is all we had now today i want us now to start from where we stopped we add the x-axis um, we add the y-axis we add the tick marks and um, we label the tick marks we come up with a complete cartesian now to begin with, I have context begin path. I want to draw again. I want to change my stroke style. So that is why I have that. Now I have my x axis here. It is learning from the coordinates uh, 5 for x because we have a margin of 5, like I explained uh, previously, and 3 or 5. This is the middle of my Cartesian because I want my grid. I want my x-axis to run in the middle of this canvas and because my canvas is having 610 pixels so the line that in the middle is going to be at 305 that is why I have my 305 here and then the line is going to 605 that is the end of um, the last point along the x-axis that is the point here this point here has the coordinate 605 and 305 again so that way I will be able to achieve my x-axis and then I'll, I have my stroke there so when I do that you save your scripts and you learn that in your Firefox that is the line there the x-axis is already showing you can be able to see it it is in the middle of that canvas now we are going to proceed now to place them tick marks I'm going to have my tick marks um, there now tick marks are those small markings where I'm going to have the ribbons or the values of X learning all the way from the left hand side to the right hand side now if I save this and relaunch it or refresh my HTML page you will find that Along our x-axis, we have these small markings here. These are the tick marks, which are going to show where the values of x are going to be. Now, in this script here, you'll be able to see that I'm using a loop, a for loop, with values of i leading from 5 to 6 or 5. Remember, we had a margin of 5 pixels on the left, 5 pixels on the right. And they're being incremented with uh, uh, 30 units to match the major units that we have up here. Now, 
um, my tick marks are going to have um, I'm going to have them remember our line is running at 305 so I subtract three units so it is going to start three units earlier and then um, two units from 305 you can be able to see that that is why I have 307 here so that is a small line that is going to begin at 305 that is the value of y to 307 and that those lines now are going to be like you can see them here like that now from there I'm going now to include the tick marks I'm going to include the tick marks I mean not tick marks but labels on the tick marks and how do you place the labels these labels are the values of x and you'll be able to see that our grid has 20 divisions it has 20 divisions from here all the way to this point here and because this is a Cartesian plane we want the values on the left to be negative values and somewhere in the middle we are going to have a zero and then the values are going to extend all the way to uh, positive values here and because there are 20 units zero is going to be somewhere in the middle so therefore you expect to have a negative 10 here and a positive 10 here and zero in the middle so I have come up with um, so we are going to use the function context field text here it has three variables the first variable here the one that is beginning from here all the way to that point where we have a comma the first argument is going to give us the value or the text that is going to be written on that tick mark and the first value that we should expect is supposed to be a negative 10 and the last one should be a positive 10 and then the other parameters here i minus 5 315 this is where we are going to have our text being written on that canvas we choose these values so that the values the labels can be seen clearly without being uh, covered or being um, shown on our x-axis or the, on, the, on the tick mark so that they are clear so first of all let me explain how do you come up with these values here or well, how do I come up with this equation here now this equation is supposed to help you calculate the values of the labels of x as you move all the way from the left hand side to the right hand side I've tried to explain this with these, uh, some few calculations here now when the value of i is 5 that is the very first point on our canvas or on our grid then our equation is going to be remember the equation is i minus 5 divided by 30 minus 10 so because our i is 5 then 5 minus 5 minus uh, divided by 30 minus 10 will be 0 divided by 30 minus 10 and this will be 0 because 0 divided by 30 is 0 minus 10 and the first value now will be a negative 10 so on our x-axis we are going to have the first value being a negative 10. When we move to the extreme right, the very last value of y, which is 6 or 5, um, the label there will be 6 or 5. Remember from our equation again, i minus 5, because of i here is 5, 6 or 5, divided by 30 minus 10. This will be 600 divided by 30 minus 10 which will be 20 minus 10 and therefore our label is going to read 10. So those are the values that are between 5 and 6 or 5 are going also to be calculated in the same way and we are finally going to have our x-axis having all the correct labels from extending from negative 10 to 0 and to the right which is positive 10. We can save that and uh, refresh our page and see what I was trying to explain there. So there we have the values now. You can see the labels now. Our x-axis has been labeled with values from negative 10 all the way to 0 in the middle and then extending to the right we have 10 to the extreme right where we have our margin and now our x-axis is complete. So we are going to repeat the same procedure for the y-axis we draw the, the y-axis 
there we have the y-axis somewhere in the middle of the page learning vertically from the middle of um, our canvas at the top and at the bottom then the line is going to pass where we have um, x equals to zero and then we proceed to have to include the, the labels the tick marks for y and the labels sorry this is supposed to be out like that so We are going to have now our Cartesian, our code being like this. Sorry, this one is supposed to be somewhere below here. Like that. If we save that and refresh our page, there we have the y axis. So you can now see that we have, um, we had the x-axis here with the um, tick marks, I mean these are the tick marks for the x-axis and the labels being written here. Now we have included the y tick marks here, uh, the, the, the running um, on the y-axis that we have, we have our y-axis here it is up here so this one is going to take here this is our y axis the line passing three or five five that is the middle of the canvas like that a vertical line then we have the our tick marks here and we have the labels for the y calculated just in the same way as we had that of those of x and if we save the page and we refresh our page this is what you should have and now we have our grid with all the axes very very well labeled with all the values from negative 10 for x axis to 10 10 all the way to I mean negative 10 here uh, positive 10 sorry for y axis we start with positive 10 at the top learning all the way to negative 10 at the bottom like that now our Cartesian is complete and we can now proceed now to do something else on this Cartesian like draw an object on this Cartesian plane and it's going to look very smart so I'm going to stop there for now so next time on next video I'm going to show you how to draw a polygon on this Cartesian so that it looks like a plotted diagram on a Cartesian plane. Thank you very much for any comments. You are very much welcome. If you like my page, you can share it. You can subscribe. We are going to have more of these kind of um, um, scripts on JavaScript. And I'll be very much happy. Thank you very much.